Hey everybody, I just recorded for like 20 minutes talking and then the video, like the microphone was not like on, so yeah, and then I just like started again and then I accidentally quit the recording. It's midnight, and I'm actually really tired. This weekend, I was at the beach, and we drove to one beach house, which was two hours from my house, and then drove to another, which was two hours from that beach house, and then the beach house that we drove to the second time didn't have air conditioning, and my door was very stressful. So, I mean, I had fun. <laughs> But it was very stressful. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very tired. But I really want to get this build out because I recorded this a while ago. I don't remember when. I think that I started, like, I got the idea whenever I watched Big Sella's video, which I will link her video, Claire Siobhan's video, and little Simsy's video in the comments, not in the comments. I'm going to link it in the description, not the comments. I watched their videos and Claire Siobhan, she did a video of her making her dog, Evie, in like as a house. And then she decorated the inside of the house as what Evie likes, which I thought was a really cute idea. And I'm going to do it maybe for Aki because Aki is like my everything. She's literally my everything. So she loves to sleep under blankets. She likes cuddling because she cuddles and, well, she sleeps under the covers with me at night. It's adorable. And it makes me feel not alone and very safe. And since I have really bad anxiety, she stays there whenever I have, like, if I'm about to have a panic attack, she stays there and helps me, and it's so sweet. I just love her. <laughs> I just love her so much that I'm about to, like, cry. It's just been a time for me. So this build took, like, two hours to record, and... I talked constantly, nonstop about giraffe gods, so that's how this video was gonna be, and the doors would not have been placed like that if at the time of recording this we could all place doors, which now you can, and now you can have doors on half tiles, which is like a life changer. That is just, it changes everything. <laughs> I love, like, I could not go back from, like, that. It's just the best thing ever. I love that update. And I wish that I had that update whenever I built this video. I think it's already on the gallery. I'm not sure. But if it is, then I said that it was going to come out soon, and it probably didn't come out soon from whenever I uploaded it to the gallery. So that's great. The new video, the new video, the new pack, Eco Lifestyle. I keep calling it Eco Living, which I don't know why they didn't name it Eco Living. Because that's like such a missed opportunity. <laughs> Everything else is like island living. Why is this eco lifestyle and not eco living? It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. I feel like I'm starting to talk too loud because my dad sleeps in the room beside me. Because my mom went through all this stuff with chemo. So he doesn't want to get sick and then like be sleeping in the same room in the same bed with her 
and then get her sick. So he's been sleeping in the guest bedroom, which is right beside my bedroom. And it is midnight. So I hope that I'm not keeping him up. And I kind of hope he can't hear me because then I will be very self-conscious. I had like very scarring events. I don't know when I'll ever talk about this on YouTube because I feel like this is my place to get away. If you really want to know, maybe I'll do a video about it like next year or the year after that. I don't know. I'm not that keen on talking about it that often. It wasn't a good experience is basically what I'm trying to say here. I was scarred for a few years of my life. So all of that has like lowered my confidence. I, but the videos like I can speak to people and make friends with people who like things similar to what I like. Because I love The Sims and I love Pokemon, which is what I really originally had intended for my YouTube channel. It started as a place where I could play Pokemon on the channel and just play Pokemon with you guys. But I never had a way to play Pokemon. So, and like stream it because I didn't want to get the emulators because they could have viruses there's supposed to be a storm and I just heard like wind and I'm in a trailer so it was really loud that's why I paused <laughs> but anyways the capture card that I need for my Mac I am buying it tomorrow because I have to put the money on my account and it just got into stock it's in stock now and I'm very happy about it because now I can actually play Pokemon, Animal Crossing. I might even start over my Animal Crossing world. I'm really debating this. Like, I really kind of want to start over Animal Crossing so that I can, like, stream it or something. I think it would be really fun to do. I don't know. I'm really debating because I was going to buy, I am still going to buy it, it's the Animal Crossing Switch. I'm going to buy the Animal Crossing Switch whenever it goes on sale during Black Friday, if it does go on sale in Black Friday. Either way, I'm still going to buy it because I really want it. I've always wanted, like, whenever the 3DS and the DSi and stuff, not the DSi, I don't think they did the things, but, like, the 2DS, the special ones, the ones that had, like, Pokemon on them and stuff like that, whenever they came out, I really wanted one, but I never got one. So, now that I'm fully an adult because I'm moving out on my own, I'm choosing to buy the Animal Crossing Switch because it's adorable and I can have one as a streaming Switch and one as an everyday, like, go with me Switch. So I think it'd be very nice for me because I could have two Animal Crossing worlds. So that's why I'm also debating if I should restart the Animal Crossing game because I know I'm going to get a new Switch later and do it. But I kind of want to do the Animal Crossing streams and such now. It won't have face cam until I get a camera or figure out like my camera situation. But I do intend on getting a camera set. I'm going to get a Canon EOS Rebel T7 because I heard a lot of people use them and that they're really nice DSLRs. So I'm going to get one of those and I'm getting it in a bundle on Amazon with like a tripod and lenses and such. So 
I think it'll be a good deal. I'm not sure. I don't know much about cameras. So if you know about cameras or have a suggestion for me, because I'm not, I'm not going to buy that until like after August or something like that. If you have any suggestions, then please feel free to leave them below because I will appreciate any suggestions that you give me. If you want to see any kinds of builds that you want me to do in my own style and such, please let that be in the comments too. Also, if there's anything on the Switch that you want me to like play through, then let me know also because I'm getting the capture card and I'll be able to record Switch videos soon. I mean, it depends on when it comes to my house, like when it actually gets shipped to my house. Um, I think when it might get shipped to my house, I'll be at the beach on vacation with my grandparents so and I'll be there for like a week I won't be recording any videos that week my cousin he loves me but which I love him too and I love that he loves me so much but I don't think I'll be able to record videos even if I were to bring my desktop and like microphone and stuff and I just don't think that's, like, necessary as much because I don't know what we're going to be doing during vacation. And my grandparents really want to spend time with me, you know. So does my little cousin. So, and it gets to the point, like, if my mom goes to my grandma's house to get mail because we have a P.O. box. So some sites won't ship to a P.O. box. Then, if I don't come with her and he's there, he gets kind of mad. Like, <laughs> he, he actually does get mad. It's adorable. I love him. He's crazy. Anyways, about this build, I put a lot of chia prints and animal prints that are like chia and leopards in the build. But I don't exactly like animal print I'm not an animal print person I'm actually quite a plain person I like plain things so cheetah print and animal print I just really don't like it unlike clothing items I'm completely fine if you want to wear cheetah print go and live your life wearing cheetah print zebra print anything of the sort I personally am not going to do that because I'm a plain person. It's all right if you're plain because you're not alone. And I'm plain in like a lot of aspects. Like I like cheese pizza and pepperoni pizza. I don't do that much with my pizza either. I do get ham and cheese. Well, not ham and cheese. It's the pineapple pizza, Hawaiian pizza. But... I take the pineapple off so it has like a hint of pineapple in it but I don't actually eat the cooked pineapple because I don't like cooked like hot fruit I just don't think fruit is good when it's hot I love fruit fruit is like everything I just love fruit but if it's hot it, it's a no-go for me I put a cauldron in here because I stated in the video before that I'm not posting because it's two hours long. I said that the cauldron was to give sacrifices to the giraffe gods. And then most of this build had to do with giraffe gods. Like, if you think about being a giraffe god, I suppose then it's stuff they would want to see in the house. The grass in the bedrooms was because it's meant to be like outdoorsy, safari-ish. I did miss the mark on this one item because I could not find it 
for the love of anything. Like, I just couldn't find it. It's the decal that you measure yourself when you're a child. It's from my first pet stuff, but I just couldn't find it. It was not being found, and it took me a while to do it. So, this build took me, like, I don't even remember what, what I was talking about. Because I noticed a part where I went to my home screen of the computer and I wanted to cut it out. And so now I don't remember what I was talking about. It's alright. Everything I did in this build had to do with giraffe gods. That's why there is llamas in there, which I made as the brother of the giraffe or cousin or something of the giraffe. Don't hold me to that statement because I surely don't know. But it's like supposed to be woodsy looking in some places. And then, like, if anything had cheetah print on it that I could say was um, giraffe print because it's a giraffe field, <laughs> then I used it. I used the one giraffe toy throughout the whole build because there is not many giraffe toys or giraffe things in this game which for this purpose of this build was kind of upsetting to me <laughs> but it's okay the guest bathroom is actually not a guest bathroom it is the bathroom for the giraffe gods because supposedly by whatever I said they came to your house and then they took care of your kids and it was very confusing what I said I was just talking I was just blabbing on about like giraffe gods and what they did for you and there's giraffe statues in the front of the build which include like, whenever you come in, you have to be someone who believes in the draft gods and worships them in order to get into the house. So, <laughs> that's what that was about. I really like the kitchen. The kitchen is really nice to me. I love it. I do wish that you could make the kitchen counters seamless on diagonals and straight walls so I wish you could do that because it would look much nicer I did a lot with landscaping as well the pool is for giraffe gods there's the tent that's working there's outdoor activities there's the well I mean I don't know how many outdoor activities because I surely don't even remember when I built this video like built this house but I don't know I just really like how much I put into the giraffe garden vibe you know I've never said vibe in that way that I know of like I think I may have done it one time in a video but I don't usually say vibe and it was just really weird that I just said that but we're going to move on and pretend I didn't say vibe, okay? So, now there's the alt place doors and windows, like I said. So, I would have made it a little bit different if I had that option. But it wouldn't be that different because there's only so much you can do with a giraffe head. I mean, it's a very niche house layout is what I'm going to say because I don't know what else I'm trying to say so that ground like grass green curtain I gave to everyone because in the video I was like everyone's just gonna have to have this curtain because I didn't want to go through all the other curtains colors and different types of curtains for them and it reminded me of the grass and trees so I mean it fits with the giraffe thing 
And then I had grass under stuff, like under the bed. I put grass under the bed and under the bathtub like it was growing into the house. I put so many plants in this house. It's just crazy. Behind that sign, I put the trash can because I didn't know where to put it. And it was like concealed there. So I liked that. I put plant boxes everywhere because I just like the plant boxes. I think it makes the build look much nicer if you have plant boxes everywhere under the windows. And I love when you can put ivy on the outside of the walls. I love doing that. But in this house, I did it on the inside instead of on the outside because giraffes aren't green. So I just put it on the inside instead because I felt like I needed it. And there, that one stub, whatever that's called, I called it antenna last time, but it's not an antenna. One of them, I wanted to utilize both of them. So one of them is a laundry room and one of them is a storage room. And I think I may have made that eyeball a little bit smaller. I don't remember. It could have been the same size as it is, it, as it is now. I've been talking like my speech is getting impaired from the tiredness that I am right now. I wanted to place the ivy on the floor of the pool and I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to do it. But I figured it out eventually. Yeah, I made the eye smaller because it looked weird. But it's a winking giraffe. That's what it's supposed to be. So here's the walkthrough. I zoomed in to show you that I put the trash can there because I did some changes whenever I was doing this tour. There's all the giraffes, the fish tank for some reason. I don't know why I put a fish tank there, but there is ponds in this safari, so there's all the plants, and then that's it for the entryway, after you look at all the plants again for some reason, and then here's the hallway with like the bookshelf, kind of woodsy, but you need books, supposedly, and then here's the activity room. There's yoga because you really need to de-stress during these times. So, I mean, that's not why I placed it there in the beginning. This is just the activity room. But now that the world is how it is, we really need to de-stress. I put the Boy Scouts thing there because it's outdoorsy. And then the kids clock because they can set times they have to be in the house by and usually according to past me the draft gods said that and enforced it here's the master bedroom with all the plants growing in it the master bathroom and then i'm gonna go the long way so we're gonna go back through there is a I don't remember what type of animal is in that crate. It could be hamster. It could be like a rat. I don't know. I don't remember what I put there. So here's the child's room, like the nursery room. And then here's the living room, but you're going into the toddler's room first. The large toddler's room. And then here is the living room, for sure. The den. These doors really annoy me, like how they are. This laundry room is sad. I don't know why I didn't do anything extra to that. I did a lot extra to this one, but I didn't do anything besides put two machines in the laundry room, which I don't really understand what I did that for. There's the game area for doing that with your family. Then here's the giraffe god's bathroom, specifically. Um, the guests have to use your bathroom, not the giraffe god's bathroom. And then here's the kitchen area, walking into the kitchen area. 
And then here's the kitchen that I actually really like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know down below what you thought and stay safe. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Wash your hands.